Hey guys, it's me, Travis, doing another box opening and testing, or trying, if you will, of uh, snacks all across the world. So if you guys remember, if you've seen the previous episodes of this particular segment thing that we're doing, uh, my wife, a couple months ago, subscribed me to a monthly mystery box of snacks from all across the world. So every single month, I get shipped a box of snacks from one particular country. Uh, I don't, you know, be before I start recording this, I don't open them up, so I and I don't look into, you know, what box they're sending me, I just... Do the whole opening on this little episode, and we try every bit of snack they have and see if we like it or not. Some are winners, and some are going to be losers. So, here's a little box here that gets shipped to us, so let's going to open it up and see what country we're going to be snacking on today. We are going to Espana. We're going to Spain. All right, this is a place that I actually, I believe in October... As long as nothing else crazy happens with COVID travel, I'll be in Spain in October. All right, so here's give us a little booklet, kind of explain the snacks, but we'll get there eventually. All right, so we're going to Spain, kids. So first up, La Abuela Nieves, artisan potato chips, lemon and black pepper flavored potato chips. If you know anything about me, I'm not a fan of lemon flavored snacks. I'm probably not going to be a fan of lemon flavored chips. However, there is a a salt and lime Lay's chip that's actually decent. I can't have too many of them because it's such a punch in the face of flavor. Lemon and black peppered flavored potato chips. My wife is probably going to love these. She likes lemon things. All right, next up we have Conics. C-O-N-I-K-S. A snack de maize. Sabor queso bacon. Sabor a queso bacon. Bacon and cheese. It looks like... um. What were those? What are these things called? What do we call these things? What's the name of them? Not Pringles. Uh, I can't remember. But these things I used to snack on all the time as a kid. I just don't know the name of what we call them here in the States. I can't remember. We just like put them on our fingertips and it looked like fingernails. I don't know if you ever did that, but I'm pretty sure you did. Don't lie to me. But yeah, so a bacon and cheese flavored little corn chip things. Those are probably going to be pretty good. All right, next up we have... De Sancho Malero, a cream-filled snack cake. A cream-filled snack cake. It's very, it's got a little bit of weight to it, but it seems like it's very soft. I'm probably going to like that. A little plastic container here. La Casitos Gold. La Casitos Gold. I feel like this is cough drops, and they're tricking me. Uh, it says contains milk, soy, micantine, peanuts, and tree nuts. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe like their version of M&M's? White chocolate candy with caramel flavor. Ooh. Next up. I think this might be the last one, actually, because there's, what, five items? One, two, three. Yes, yeah, this is the last of the five. Spicy mangoes. Are these actual mango? Oh, they're gummy mangoes. Gummy spicy mangoes. It's not just mango gummies. Spicy mango gummies. All right, so let's get started. First up, the artisan potato chips, lemon and black pepper flavored. Ah! I don't know why I just made that noise. I apologize. Chips, you always got to do the smell test first. I'm definitely getting lemon. Almost like a candied lemon. Not bad, though. All right. The black pepper is not really there. I'm not getting any of the black pepper. And the lemon's not... Like, if you know what I was talking about with the Lay's lime chips they have, or any, any lime chips, I guess. Um, but the Lay's ones, I think, are the ones we had. And uh, those are very pungent, with citric acid punch of flavor in the face. These don't have that. These are... These are um, I guess artisan means the, they're thicker. But these are... Yeah, these potato chips are thicker than the average Americanized potato chip. But, I will preface this. I'm not a potato chip fan. I don't ever buy potato chips on purpose. I don't ever eat potato chips on purpose. If you get a side of potato chips and you're done eating, and we're out to eat together, and you say, hey, Travis, do you want to have some of my potato chips? I might try one or two. But that's beside this point. I mean, French fries are the same thing to me. I never intentionally order French fries. I never intentionally go buy French fries. Not a, I'm not a side dish, a side potato dish fan, unless it's like 
Sometimes I'll get a, uh, a baked potato fully loaded with all the, you know, the fixings on top. I traditionally will go for the sweet potato with all the little sugary stuff on top. They have a sweet tooth. But, flavor-wise, those actually aren't too bad because the flavor is so low-key on the lemon stuff. It's kind of like a candied lemon flavor, if that makes any sense. All right, what up we got next? Let's go to the spicy mangoes. Those are right on top. Spicy gummy mangoes. Am I going to like these? I don't know. I wonder how spicy they are. That's what I'm curious about. Oh, man, they smell so good. Oh, man, that's such a great smell. Such a great smell. That's the, that's the best candy smell ever. Yeah, that's legit. That's like nostalgic. That's a nostalgic, amazing smell. They are, they're very squishy. They're more flexible, I think, than the average gummy that we're used to. But uh, let's see how spicy these things are. What makes it spicy? Ooh. Ooh. Almost like a paprika level of spice. Maybe like a Tabasco sauce level. Cayenne pepper. It creeps up on you, or it, it comes at a... It's not at the very, very beginning. So you're like, oh crap, this is going to be really spicy. But it actually calms down. But yeah, that's crazy how these... This is funny. This is a funny snack. If it was spicy, I'd be like, if kids don't shut up, and they're driving you crazy. Be like, hey, you want some snacks? Like, yeah. And you give them these things, and then when they're like, ah, you go, ha ha, stop talking. I'm looking in the uh, ingredients, and it doesn't say, I think it's like an artifact, uh, artifact, an artificial uh, spice. There's no, there's no like peppers or anything. Yeah, it doesn't even say like what it contains that creates it, that makes it spicy. So I think it's just an artificially created heat, if you will. But um, yeah, I would never order those because I don't like. I know a lot of people are doing. You know, they they have like spicy chocolate, which we actually have the world's hottest spicy chocolate that we're gonna eat once we get to a certain amount of followers on this channel. But um, but I don't really like mixing heat with sweet. I don't like sweet heat. Unless I'm getting barbecue and then it's got like a very sweet, you know, very sweet like cherry glaze that's got heat to it, then that's, for that I like it, but for actual like dessert time, snack time, not a fan of that. Alright, so now we're going to our little corn chip things. I can't remember. I'm, as soon as this episode's over with, I'm gonna remember what these things are called. It's gonna drive me crazy. Cheese and bacon corn snacks. I know I'm gonna like these. Like I said, I don't like potato chips, but a lot of corn chips I like. I forgot to do the smell. No smell. Eh, well, nothing really there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These melt in your mouth. They're so soft. Like, there's zero crunch. Like, you can crunch these with your tongue against the roof of your mouth. They're so soft. Oh. I don't know what came first, this or the one we have here in the States. Somebody's ripping somebody off, because these are pretty much the exact same thing. Bacon and cheese flavored. Yeah. I can eat those all day. All right, we got two more. I don't know why I held up with the number one, and I said two. Don't ask me why. Let's open up this, uh, like, Mentos-looking container thing. The label that's... Currently holding it down. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. That yellow label right there. The security. Let me open this! Okay, got it. Alright. Milk. Well, no. White chocolate candied. White chocolate candy with caramel flavor. Oh, these are like all... Seems like they're all broken. Yeah. Little, little M&M &M things. Alright, here we go.
but nothing too exciting. It depends on your your fascination with the flavor of caramel or caramel in general. Caramel, caramel, potato, potato. They're just like caramel M and M's though. Maybe like twenty percent white chocolate. Is it so thin? I mean, I can tell it's white chocolate, but the caramel flavor is such such a or more there, if you will. Yeah, just uh, caramel M and M's. But if the chocolate that covered it and M and M's was white chocolate, does white M and M's? Did they ever make a white chocolate? I'm for sure they did. They made everything. All right, moving on to the last one. <laughs> Cream filled snack cake. Little uh, sandwich looking thing. Reminds me of a, uh, for some reason, the first thought I came to my mind was like a Fig Newton. In terms of like texture, a little, little wetter, more damp. Bread than a Fig Newton. Smells like a Fig Newton. This is so soft. And the sweetness is an overkill. This is something... The first thought I had is this is something that you would eat when you were drinking tea. Like a, like, you know, like a tea and crumpets kind of thing. Like a little like sweet, um, you know, they usually have like cookies you dip like the tea into. I don't know. I never got into that stuff. But if I did, this, this tastes like something you would eat with tea, which is like kind of like an afternoon snack. Not a, not a dessert snack, not like a cho piece of chocolate or anything like that. But um, yeah, it's just so soft. And the, the cream that's in the middle isn't, it's like not even sweet. It's just, I mean, you know it's a sweet cream, but you're not even like tasting any of that sugar in it. So it's very, like the, the candy, the snack, the, can, uh, the sweet snacky part of it that isn't there. It just seems like it's a, you know, a mid-afternoon snack. Like, uh, you know, thing you would eat with your lunch maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, there you have it. There we go. We have... Our Spain snacks. Let's go ahead and rate them now. On a scale of one to five. Five being the best, one being the worst. Potato chips, not a fan of potato chips anyway, but I was surprised that it wasn't the worst when it says lemon and black, pe black pepper flavored. But it's still potato chip. Two out of five. Spicy mangoes, smell, five out of five. Flavor, um, I do like things that are spicy, but I don't like spicy mixed with my, my uh, you know, after dinner snacks or my, my sweets. Flavor wise... 2.5 out of 5. I mean, like I said, I don't like that mixture. I love the smell, though. Uh, and then we have these guys. My corn chips. 4 out of 5. My caramel white chocolate things. 2.5 out of 5. Cream-filled snack cake. I can't rate it on flavor. I just rate it on... It's, it's more enjoyable to eat than, than it is, oh my gosh, this is the best flavor in the world. It's just a nice thing to eat. It just feels nice because it's so soft. But collectively, number-wise, I'll go ahead and give that a 3. You know what? No. No, we're going back down to 2.5. If it was slightly sweeter, I might like it a little bit more. There you have it. Those are our reviews for Spain. Appreciate Universal Yums for sending this out here. If you guys want your own subscription box where you get a box sent to you from any country or random countries all across the world, once a month, go ahead to go to universalyums.com. I think it's about time they sponsor me. What do you guys think? See you guys next time for next month's Universal Yums Mystery Box of Snacks.